In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your action button exactly like this, how to do it like a list instead of a menu, and how to customize your icons as well. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go to the Shortcuts app. So if your Shortcuts opens up to this screen, go ahead and look up at the top, and on the left side, hit that back arrow going back to Shortcuts, and hit that plus, which is adding a new folder. And we're gonna title this folder as something easy for us to identify, demo action button but you obviously name it what makes sense to you we're going to go ahead and go into the folder we just created and this folder is going to house all the shortcuts that we want as options in our menu when we activate the action button for this video i'm going to demonstrate adding two shortcuts to the menu from there you'll get the gist and you can add whatever else you need later one that almost everyone is going to want to add is to toggle the ringer or the silent mode so we're going to add a new shortcut Add action, search, silent, set silent mode. So whenever you see blue text, that's indicating that there are options for you to choose from. You can edit that. So I can have this function set as it's always turning on the silent mode, or I can have it set as to toggle between on and off silent mode, which I think makes more sense and is 1000 times more useful. So that's what I'm gonna go. Look up at the top, I can press that down arrow button and I can rename the shortcut to toggle ringer. The second one I'll demonstrate is a Tesla shortcut. It's super useful to have Tesla control right at your fingertips with the action button. We're gonna add a shortcut, add action, search Tesla, lock, unlock. Again, the blue text indicates we can select from options. I'm gonna go with unlock. You can choose which vehicle if you have multiple. Let's customize our name. So I'm just gonna put unlock and I'm gonna change the color. Let's do this. So now let's assign this folder to the action button. And we're going to search for the folder that we made. If you don't immediately see it here, like right now I don't see it, go ahead and hit my shortcuts and you're gonna hit show folder and demo action button is the one that I just created with you guys. So now let's test it out, the action button here. And there you go, our folder with the two shortcuts that we just made. So in the previous method, we had multiple shortcuts all housed within one folder, and then that folder was assigned to the action button. In the second method, for a list type of interface, we are just going to have one shortcut, and all the actions are in that one shortcut, and that gets assigned to the action button. Just one single giant mega shortcut. Now we're going to search menu, choose from menu. So it says choose from menu with prompt and the prompt is the question it will display along with your actions. I think by default, it's gonna ask you which one. <laughs> For me personally, I don't need the question there. I just wanna see my options. To me, the question is just like visual clutter. So I actually just put a space directly underneath that. We see these red circles and this area is where you're going to write the labels. Let's say it's again to toggle the ringer and you can see that it's populating that in the object below. And that object is where you're actually gonna configure the action tied to the label. Search silent. We're going to hit the blue word turn and change it to toggle. Now we're gonna drag this underneath toggle ringer. And notice how it indented itself. So it's nested. This is the function of toggle ringer. So let's repeat this for the second shortcut. So that one was unlock flat search Tesla and unlock and we're going to drag this underneath unlock plaid and again notice that it nested itself underneath unlock plaid Apple treats this just kind of like a sequence of events it's going to give you the menu options you're going to select one of the menu options it'll run what you selected and then it runs whatever action is following that so for example if I accidentally had flash flash the lights so notice how it's not indented underneath any option. It's aligned with end menu. The way this would work would be, I hit the action button. It presents me with the options, toggle ringer, unlock plaid. Let's say I select unlock plaid. It will unlock the plaid, but then now it will end the menu, menu's done. 
and then flashlights. <laughs> yeah, that's just something to pay attention to. It's pretty logical. Okay, I'm gonna call this demo list. Now let's configure our action button. And then you can see our shortcut here, demo list. So now it is set. I will show you what that looks like. Boom, that's it. If this was helpful, share it with someone you know who just got an iPhone 15.